name is Brooklyn. And my name is Lola. And, and we are CC News, bringing you today's news. Two puppies were rescued in northern Minnesota last night after being left outside in the fridge cold. Mean! Speaking of weather, let's go to the weather reporter. Today we are going to tell you the weather for the upcoming week in March. The high temp will be 30 degrees with low dipping into stable digits. It looks like there will be a chance of snow later in the week. Wednesday will go rain in the north. Will fill you no. the forecast for the week week is this went on Wednesday it's 28 degrees is the high and 21 degrees is the low on Tuesday the is there is a 12 percent change from of snow with high in the 30s and the low of 16 18 degrees Friday the high will 12 23 agrees and I a low of eight, nine to the week Saturday it's going to be high of 22 agrees and low is fifteen. Saturday will be high of twenty three degrees and a low of twelve. The forecast for Monday will have a high of 29 and a low of 15. Tuesday will be high and the 30s and low dip into the degrees. We will send back to you Lola in Brooklyn. Stay with us. CC News will be right back after this short commercial break. Well, welcome to Pets R Us for the one place stuff for all your petting needs. We have the squeaky toys for the dogs and scratchy pelts for the kittens. We have all the most popular animal foods and treats. And if you are looking for a pet to adopt, we have them all. We have, the, we have dogs, cats, mice, guinea pigs, lizards, snakes, and birds. So come on down to Pets R Us for all your pet needs. Now we are going to sports. Brought to you by Drake, Alexa, Jason Owen. Vikings versus the Packers. This is Drake live from US Bank Stadium. In today's matchup, we have the Minnesota Vikings playing their rivals from Wisconsin, the Green Bay Packers. Sure to be a good game when you have Cousins and Rogers going head to head. Morris Tigers girls basketball. This is Alexa reporting live from Tiger Nation as the Morris area Tigers girls take on the Minnewaska Lakers. 
Tigers have been trailing most of the second second half were up for with three seconds left and the Tigers have the ball in their turnation by two Tigers in boarding. The Tigers pass it around the circle and a temperature still but the Tigers gain control. Maddie Hampton has a ball. A ball. She takes a shot as the buzzer sounds. The shot is good. The Tigers win by one. This is a live covering the match between the matchup between the Eagles and the Minnesota Vikings. We're down to the final minute. All Vikings are up by three. Eagles are are in scoring territory with 10 seconds left and relegation ways drops back looks for his receiver and throws the ball keep the caught it eagles win this is chase reporting live from new england as they host on the matchup up against the steelers it's going to be a tough game where both teams can handle the pressure. Okay, we are back. Blaine police are asking for public help to catch the two thieves who stole a Civil Asian Army red kettle outside of a supermarket Tuesday afternoon. Today we saw Santa Claus fly and up on a shelf move. It was crazy. A bunch of kids sat on Santa's lap at Pizza Ranch a few days ago. Now we are moving to local news. Today is a concert at school. It will be a great event. A lot of families are coming today to enjoy all the holiday cheer. The third and fourth graders are excited for it. Next up is hunted and how the, the weather effect, affects it. Due to the cold weather, Many hunters are staying inside their warm houses. The hunters that do brave the cold can be handsomely rewarded. Here at school, we have been collecting food for the food shelf since the 6th of December. Next is all about Santa. He has been sighted at the local pizza ranch spreading holiday cheer. And here are some of the top gifts that kids have been asking for. Lego Boost Toolbox, Fur Real Roran, Real of the Tiger, Nintendo Switch, Star Wars Droid Inventor Kit. The toy that I will be asking for is a Star Wars droid kit. I want it because it looks cool and fun. My favorite is a Nintendo Switch. I like it because the games on it look very fun. Another toy is, I want is an Air Strike Dart Blaster. It has recon fire and two types of Nerf darts. Next is some, some events that at the university on December 8th, the university's men's basketball team took on the University of Wisconsin Superior and Stay tuned for more news after this commercial break. Man, I'm hungry. Let's take a break. Let's take all these chocolate and sugar is really good like M&M's, Kit Kats, candy bars, and root beer. All the sugar is going to make me crazy. And for the holiday mood, we now have candy canes. So come down to it for all your candy needs. Let's go live to Colin, Casey, and Jonathan for our national news. I'm Casey, reporting live from California, which had a record <coughs> wildfire season. It was bad because it did a lot of damage. It burned down 1.8 million acres and wiped out the town. 
pleasant, but it wasn't so pleasant anymore now because of Jared Land. Much like our, um, are a concern. It burned down trees, but mostly being the redwood. Colin will now give a recap about the California mudslides in California Forest. I'm Colin. Somewhere below San Diego, some floods. There are some floods. No city just destroyed, but there's five deaths. Earthquakes are more rare this winter, and there's chance of mudslides happening. So many bad things are happening to poor California. It might get destroyed. Hi, I'm Jonathan. After, after last Friday's earthquake, Alaska too got was destroyed. The roads were broken down, and windows, the windows of stores were completely shattered. Even inside, tons of people, people in Alaska, the cupboard shel shelves and furniture were almost gone. We hope everyone is being helped. All the damage will be fixed soon. And all the damage will be fixed soon. So, thank you for your time. Stay with us. CC News will be right back after this short commercial break. Hey guys, welcome to the art store. Where you can view and buy all these art pieces. Here's one of my favorites. Here's one of my favorites. The art store also sells art supplies like paint, brushes, pencils, paper, canvases, and drawing books. So please come down to the art store for all your arty needs. Next, Liam and Azul will tell us how salt water is being used on wintry roads. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Azul. And I'm Liam. Let's get right into <coughs> the, this city across Minnesota have turned to spraying a salt water solvent on the roads to re prevent them from being slippery. Wow, talk about slippery in a slippery situation. In other, in other state news, a wild deer has t tested profit for a trunk. Chronic racing disease. Really, you don't say. Yes, how crazy. In the other recent news, another storm had dumped around 11 inches of snow in southern Minnesota. Yes, reports are coming from Sherburn and near Lakefield. Well, <coughs> that's all for us. Back to Lola in Brooklyn. Next, we will find some wacky news from Bryson Jonathan. Did you know a boy saw six huge tears in the water and in one breath and then went to saving the day? Leo Anderson Age nine broke a world record last month. He saw six Rubik cubes underwater in 93 seconds. This incredible task took you little only little one breath. He came the world reaching at. Carver Lake in California. Moments after Leo completed the world record, he saved the day for bad guys in Mexico. Leo stopped the bad guy from stealing $1,000 when he flew back to his base in Georgia. Georgia. When Leo got home, he watched more bad guys stealing 
from a bank in North Dakota on his big computer. Airplane and the, the saving that day made more times than Monday. Join us back here at 10 p.m. for the nightly news. This has been Brooklyn and Lola with CC News wishing you a great rest of your day and a Merry Christmas.
three. <laughs> Levi will count to three. Okay, ready? Uh, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Will. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Good job. Thanks for watching it. Bye.